We were made to be courageous. We were made to lead the way. We could be the generation that finally breaks the chains. We were made to be courageous. In the midst of that, do I say, yes, because life isn't always the way you want it and I care about you at the same time. Deseo Moore helped start Meridian Health Services Connections Program, training staff and working with clients who have a dual diagnosis of intellectual disabilities and mental illness. Connections started small but is serving 900 people now in 25 counties. Um, Meridian Health Services is all about supporting a person's dignity, um, helping them to have self-determination, helping them to have opportunities that they might otherwise be denied. We help someone understand that they're anxious and how they can respond to that better so they can do better at, the, at their workplace, um, get along better with the people that they live with. One client is Jordan, an eighth grader from Richmond with autism who lives with his grandmother, Nanette Phillips. Meridian came into our lives about five years ago. They have been instrumental in what Jordan is today. Jordan has been a blessing in my life. He makes me see and appreciate things I probably would have never thought to see and appreciate. I always thought it took a special family to raise a child like Jordan. That child makes you special. He, it's a special blessing to have that child. Jamie Quire is the Meridian consultant who works with Jordan. She says DeSeal combines technical skill in running the program with compassion for the clients. DeSeal is probably one of the most compassionate, caring, understanding people that I have ever worked for and worked with. DeSeal remembers one client especially, a girl who was about four when they met and had been struggling with emotional challenges. Um, and I remember the day when she, um, we were doing what we did together in play therapy and she just didn't have the spirit in it. And I said, you know what, I think you're doing well, aren't you? And she said, yeah. I don't know if I need to come anymore. <laughs> and I said, you know what, I think you're right. I think, so let's make a plan about that. And you know, if you need to, you can come back anytime. But what a beautiful thing that this young child could say, I think I'm okay now. <laughs>